They say laughter is the best medicine, and in the new documentary, Dying Laughing, you'll see exactly why it's what the doctor ordered. Comedy is your ability to withstand self-torture. A lot of comedians just want laugh, 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 laugh. I like laugh, boo, laugh. <gasps> you are never exempt from a bad night. You heckle me, you're trying to hurt my feelings. Just know I'm dead on the inside. It's definitely not like a great way to invest in your romantic life. There's gotta be a secret, right? I don't think you have what it takes to be a comedian. I said, God damn, to my face? Next! Not doing well as a comedian is an existential crisis. And they literally uh, threw chairs at you. People have no filter. When I was younger, it used to just literally, uh, it would kill me. And now I'm able to uh, float through it now because uh, I have money. That laugh is better than any trophy, and that's what I live for. Please welcome the producers of Dying Laughing, comedians Kira Sultanovich, Paul Provenza, and from our development team at Stage 29 Productions, Suli McCullough, to the yes. show. Welcome, crew. Yes, we're here. I, yeah, yeah. Woo. I I'd love. Like you, I'd I, like to thank your team for the makeover. I think they did a phenomenal job. I feel, <laughs> you look so I feel great. so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how often we're able to talk about where real world mixes with medicine, and we know laughter is such a great thing when it comes to our health. How have you all used comedy in, in your own lives? Well, first of all, you have to be really mentally unstable to do comedy. <laughs> that's true. So that's how it fits in. I was actually hoping for a diagnosis here today <laughs> of why I keep trying to reach out to strangers for love. See, here's one of, one of the interesting things about, about comedy is if you have feelings of alienation, if you have feelings of insecurity, if you have feelings that you're not, you're not like everybody else, uh, you can own that in comedy and make something creative out of it, share the comedy you get out of it with other people who can relate to the same sorts of feelings of alienation and what have you. But it does come from a thing that we all share, which is wh this planet is crazy. We're well, all crazy. I, I can't even imagine getting in front of everyone and your whole purpose is to make them laugh. But I also love the combination of, of this documentary and I know your relationship with Gary Shandling. Yeah, and Gary was a, a great personal friend of mine. He was a friend and a mentor. Uh, in our documentary, what we look at is the uh, agony and ecstasy of comedy because when it's going well, it's great, but there are times when it's not going well. Like we all have bombing stories. Well, uh, speak well, for come yourself. On, every, you, yeah, 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 yes. Really? Yes. We where have people all. Don't yeah, I, I was doing a what? show once where um, I was doing a show called Stand Up Black America in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, there were no black people whatsoever. I felt like a rare panda so how out did there. It go. Oh, it was awful. Well, I love how you all try to find the comedic side of life. But in the medical world, I mentioned your, your relationship with Gary Shanley, and I know cystic fibrosis was a part of this documentary in terms of its purpose. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that we're doing with this documentary is we're raising money for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Uh, we're doing special screenings at comedy clubs all across the country. Uh, Gary Shandling's younger brother uh, passed away from cystic fibrosis. So we dedicate the film to him, and uh, we felt that it's a great way to honor him and honor his memory. Well, I applaud you for that. I applaud you for the documentary. I've said it time and time again, laughter truly is the best medicine. When you see those physiologic changes that occur, the lowering of the heart rate, the lowering of the blood pressure, this is legit medicine, folks. And Dying Laughing is now available on iTunes, VOD, and in select theaters. I encourage you all to check it out. And thank you all for producing that. I know this Thanks was a lot, many years in the making. I'm yeah. personally very excited to watch it. Thank you all so much.